Welcome to another episode of Inside the Boardroom. I'm your host, Mel Schaefer. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Hugh McNaught, CEO and Director at VenturePoint Diagnostics. This company is revolutionizing heart care by enhancing cardiac ultrasound with AI, creating 3D volumetric images with MRI level accuracy. Now, over the past 15 years, their team has refined this technology, leading to the latest version of their product, VMS Plus version 4. Already in use at leading medical centers across Europe, the UK and North America, VMS Plus is helping doctors monitor and treat patients with conditions like congenital heart defects, cancer-related heart complications, and pulmonary hypertension. As they gear up for FDA clearance and expand their commercial efforts, VenturePoint is on a mission to make advanced heart monitoring faster, more affordable, and more accessible. To lead investors straight into it, Hugh, uh, VenturePoint has spent 15 years developing and refining this technology. Can you walk us through what makes VMS Plus version 4 a breakthrough in cardiac imaging? Yes, thank you, Mel. So we see uh, two primary areas where we've been able to enhance the product to ensure a better product user fit. The first is in the area of hardware. So we've upgraded our sensors to uh, remove magnets from them. So it makes the system much more robust, much more reliable, accelerates the, the hands-on aspect of, of using the product. And as well, it will uh, make the use of VMS Plus possible for many more patients, such as those with, with implants. Now, uh, congenital heart defects are a major focus for your technology, particularly in pediatric patients. How does VMS Plus improve the standard of care for these patients? Yes, thank you. So. Congenital heart defects was really the, the genesis of the company. Uh, there was a desire to, to offer a, a more accessible modality for these young patients. Uh, incidentally, you know, these patients are surviving well into adulthood, so it's not just children. So one million children in the US, one and a half million adults. For the younger patients, the standard of care generally, the guidelines generally do not recommend uh, the use of MRI for patients under the age of 12. They may require contrast and sedation. Uh, also, they need to be stationary for a prolonged period of time, which can be a challenge even for, for adults. Uh, also, the, uh, the, you know, the parents aren't able to be in the room necessarily with the patient while they're getting an MRI. So with, with VMS Plus, it, it's faster, it, it's less expensive, it's far more accessible. Uh, you know, the patient does not require sedation or contrast, and as well, they can be accompanied by a parent in the room. So we feel that this is a, a much friendlier, more affordable and more accessible modality. So moving now over to the cancer uh, treatment side of things, cancer treatment can have serious effects on the heart. How does VMS Plus help oncologists monitor and protect their patients' heart health? Yes, so we have the ability to accurately analyze all four chambers of the heart and report volumetric results with the same accuracy as MRI. So as you mentioned, these patients do suffer, many of these patients do suffer from cardiotoxic effects from the drugs or radiation. They need to be monitored. So this is a, a far more accessible technology, uh, generally available or could be available in their, their local clinics or hospitals, you know, rather than having to go to a, a larger center. The turnaround time is much faster. So in many of these institutions, uh, the cardiologist will be either performing the scan or uh, adjacent to the sonographer who, who's performing the scan. So the results are enhanced sooner, uh, treatment decisions are made faster, and hopefully that leads to a better, you know, better treatment plan. Now, um, one of the last sort of sections that, um, that VMS Plus uh, version 4 treats is pulmonary hypertension, um, which primarily affects the right side of the heart, um, where VMS Plus excels. What advantages does your system offer in diagnosing and managing this condition? Right. So pulmonary hypertension is, is in a way associated with aging. So a, a huge and growing population of people suffer this. We feel that, uh, well, to our knowledge, VMS Plus is the only AI enhancement to ECHO that is able to accurately assess the right ventricle. So, you know, this is the, the, the best option, I think, as far as ECHO goes. And again, it's, it's far more accessible, uh, far more affordable. 
and a, you know, a much easier experience for many of these patients. And lastly, something that investors will uh, really be um, hotly anticipating. You're preparing for FDA clearance and expanding your commercial efforts. What are your key goals for uh, the rest of 2025? And how do you see VMS Plus shaping the, the future of heart care? 2025 is a, a very important year for us and we have very ambitious plans. Uh, as you mentioned, we have submitted to FDA and we're eagerly awaiting uh, clearance by FDA. However, in the, the last half of 2024, we were able to get CE marking, which enables us to market the product in Europe, the UK, and many other jurisdictions. We also received a medical device license from Health Canada, which enables us to sell the product in Canada. You know, over the last year, we have you know, done a pretty deep dive on our entire business. We've been working with our distributors in the UK and EU to better understand the sales process and how to remove uh, friction from that. We've been assessing additional distribution channels. Uh, we've entered into negotiations for licenses and partnerships, one of these being Ascent Cardiovascular in the US. Uh, we've had fairly extensive interactions with our customers, you know, driven by our marketing director and clinical application specialist to really understand how the product is working in their hands. Uh, this has enabled us to, to develop deeper insights into the user needs and to build stronger propositions. Uh, we've, we've actually implemented a CRM, which will give us better sort of insight and control over the sales process. And finally, we, we've been refining our business plan to really strengthen our commercial outreach in North America. So th this is the year where we, we really want to, uh, to achieve strong sales and, and revenue traction. Well, there is certainly a lot for investors to look forward to uh, as we head into the rest of the year. Thank you so much for joining me, Hugh. Great. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to speak with you.